Hello to everyone! In this video, we will talk about UJIT Portfolio Gallery Pro License. I know you have been waiting for this video for a long time, so let's start. Let me first tell how to install Pro License. For that, you just simply need to delete free version. All your created projects will be remain in your database, so you will not lose them. And just install by entering plugins, add new, and upload plugin section. After the activation, clean your cache files and let's see what we get with Pro License. On the right side of each project you can find category section. For example, you have created many projects and would like to divide them into different categories. Create categories from here, add new one, edit or delete, then select and this project will belong to this category. You can press Ctrl and select 2 or 3 1. Then select this one to show the category on front end. Let's first of all insert portfolio into our pages. Here is the short code and let's view this page. Here you can see portfolio with categories. It brings those projects which belongs to first category, second, third. You can make many changes on these buttons. I'll show you next. Portfolio has seven different views, which I have talked about in my last video about free version. You can make changes on each of them. Use general options and lightbox options. Let's start with the general options. It is divided into seven parts. So I have chosen blocks toggle up down view. And let's make some changes on it. First, let me show how blocks toggle up down view looks. Here you can see elements with images and little arrow. Click on it will open a content information about the project, view more button and additional images which will open in Lightbox. Let's see what kind of changes we can make on it. Element styles. This is element and we can change background color. Next is border width. If you write some number, you can see the border around each element. It's gray, so I can also change the color of the border. You can see. And toggle button style. This little arrow can be white Show separation lines. Let me show the separation lines. There is little gray lines. Let me change the background color so you could see them. Here is the separation lines among title, images, and text. We can also remove them. Next one is sorting styles. This is sorting buttons, about which I have told in my last video about free version. So let's pass that and go to link button styles. Here is link button. Unshow it. Change the text inside it. Change link button font size. Font size can be a little larger or smaller. Next is font color.
font color when hover a mouse on it. For example, here is the font color yellow and I hover, it's white. Background color. And background color when you hover a mouse. Next one is main image styles. You can give width and height to the element. Main image is the biggest one. If I make it a little narrower, see I have three columns and now I have four columns. But the image is a little destroyed. So that's why I will make height also smaller so now it's okay now my elements are small but the text inside it is too large that's why we can also change title font size and color description font size and color Thumbnails, thumbnails, there is thumbnail images. Let's make changes. Title font size and color. Here is title, now it's bigger and dark red. Thumbnails, you can show thumbnail images. See, you can see them. And now there is no images. Thumbnail images also can be changed in position before description or after description. Here they are. And you can change the width of thumbnail images. Description can be unshown. There is no description now. Also, you can change font size and font color. I'll make them smaller. Let's see. Next is category styles, which I have already shown you. Let's select and start making changes on it. Here are category buttons. First changes that we can make on this button is change the name of all button. Here, all projects. Next one is button font size. Font color. Font color when hover a mouse on it. Background color. And background color while hover on it. Let's see. You can change the border radius of these buttons. And give padding between them and posit it let's see that's all about blocks toggle up down view let's start with the next one full height blocks let me show how it looks full height blocks is almost the same like toggle up down but without toggling you can see all information is open and the same changes you can do with this view that's why let's go to the next one content pop-up view here how it looks the same thumbnails with title it opens with big pop-up 
and you can find description text, thumbnail images, and title next to it. New more button. Let's start making changes on it. Element styles. Here is the element. You can change element width and height, making it smaller and having four columns. Let's make height smaller. Here you see. Change background color. Next one. Element border width. The same thing. Here is the border. Color for the border. Also, when I hover a mouse, you can see overlay. So let's make the color of that overlay. And of course, transparency level. Zoom image style is white and we can make it dark. Next one is element title. This title also can be changed in size, color, link button on the element, we can remove it. Change text in it, font size, and font color. And let's move to pop-up styling. Let's change this white area with another one. these pop-up styles pop-up background color pop-up image full width this means when you select then your image will be stretched up to the width of the container inside of pop-up no matter the size of the image but if you unselect this the image will have its natural size inside the pop-up Pop-up overlay color, this background color, it's black now, I can make it white here and also can change the transparency 100% here. Next one is closed button styles, dark and light. Here is the closed button, it can be white and black and separation lines you can see separation lines here and here I can remove them so next one is pop-up thumbnails you can unshow them and you can change the size of them in order not to destroy 75 or 75, you can put 150 and here, but this not good dimensions for these images. Next one is pop-up title and pop-up description. The same changes in font size and font color. Show description or remove it here font size of description, font color of description, pop-up link button, this link button inside of pop-up, unshow it, show it again, change text in it, view product, 
font size, font color, font color on hover, background color, and background color on hover. Let's move to the next view. It's full width blocks. Here how it looks. On full width blocks we can make changes with element styles, image width, main image can be wider or narrower. Let's see. Element background color. This background color can be changed. Element border width. Let's give border and decide some other color on it. Link button. Here is link button. Unshow it. Change text. Change font size. Button font color. And background color of the button without hover and with hover. Next changes we make with title, thumbnails, images and description. And show thumbnail images. Here they come. Change width and height. Title and description. Description can be hidden or changed in font size and color. Let's change both of them. Here we go. Next view. FAQ toggle up down. FAQ toggle up down. This view doesn't supposed to have any images in it, only title text, description and link button. We can make the following changes on it. Block width. So now I have three columns and We'll have only two because they are a little wider. So I change this background color. Block border width and color. Link button, hide it, change text, here I have changed the text, link button font size, font color, on hover font color, background color of the button, 
and background color when you hover on it. So we got something like this. Next one is title font size, title font color and toggle button style. Toggle button style, this little arrow, it can be white and black. Title font size, larger and this color. Description. We can hide it. Or change font size, font color. So that's all. Next one is content slider. Content slider looks the same like full width blocks, but the projects not under each other, but you can slide them. The same changes like on full width blocks. That's why well, let's go to the next one, Lightbox Gallery. Lightbox Gallery supposed to have only main images without thumbnails. They open in Lightbox and you can slide them. We can make the following changes. It's title. When you hover a mouse you can see a title here, font size of the title, title font color and font color on hover. Let's see. Next one is background color. and background transparency image styles change image width by the way the height of the image is fixed it comes with the natural height of the image and you can only change its width if you make width smaller the height will be smaller as well Next one is image border width, so we can give a little border on it and color. Border radius, if you enlarge it like 25, these corners will be rounded. So let's go on with lightbox options. Lightbox options are partly free and pro. Let me start with the first one, it's lightbox styles. As you know, lightbox has five different styles. This style is the first one. Let's see the next. So it looks like this with arrows. Third one. It looks like this with the arrows along the sides. Next one. Looks like this. There is no arrows, but just previous and next step. the last you can change transition type it's like elastic fade and none um, 
it's on elastic right now let me show the fade here you see opening speed you can change the speed of the opening for example and see closing speed next one is show the title you can see the title in lightbox overlay transparency this background overlay it's on 20% let's make it 80 now it's almost dark auto open means when you select as you refresh the page it will automatically open the light box overlay close true if you select this that means you can close the light box by clicking on the overlay ESK close means you can close the light box by pressing on ESK button on the keyboard Keyboard navigation means that you can slide the light box by pressing on right and left buttons on the keyboard. Loop content means when you select this and go through all images. Next, after the last image, will be the first image. So it's it's like unlimited scroll through the images but when you unselect this and get to the last image the slideshow will stop show close button let's select and in lightbox you can see this kind of close button next one is dimensions it has pop-up size 6 pop-up size 6 means when you click on it these two options have changed that means when you click pop-up size 6 that means you give fixed size to the pop-up no matter what size the image will be inside of the pop-up but the pop-up will be the size with width and height that you decide for example 1000 on 1000 and here the light box has fixed size but the image gets its natural size but when I unselect this I give maximal width and maximal height and my image will get the natural size within this maximal size let me show my max size is 300 on 500 that's why image is a bit smaller pop-up initial width no matter how big you will set the light box width and height it has initial width and height when the light box only starts opening it's 300 on 100 let me show it brings initial size and larger one slideshow so like this and you can have slideshow automatically through images this is slideshow interval slideshow auto start you select this and slideshow wheel move automatically and if you don't select this you can navigate it by yourself slideshow start button text in some styles you can find slideshow start slideshow and stop slideshow text 
here in first view we can find stop slideshow button and start slideshow you can change the text in it positioning fixed position if this selected when you move down the light box in fixed position but when you don't select this the light box will not be fixed and position you can decide to open it here and that's all about light box I hope you liked it as well as general options with any questions you can contact our support team so bye for now